Here's a mail, it never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail. <laughs> Great day. Great day. December. Mail call one of two. Because this is the first box. This is courtesy of Midtown Comics. Their 75% off Black Friday sale. So yeah, you know, gotta stay within budget. But 75% off, I jumps. I jumps. So this time, the box pretty much made it to me. Ooh, and it's heavy. Made it to me uns relatively unscathed. No bumps, no bruises, no cavernous rips. So it was relatively unmolested this time. So I'm going to open her up and see what I got. All right. So as we go, Marvel first, as always. I got Alpha Flight, Volume 5, Number 2. And this is cover C. The Nicoletta Baladari cover. And of course, the Alpha Flight, this volume, ties in with the Fall of X. So it appears that the original Alpha Flight members are fighting with their mutant members. But they're actually not. They're actually cooperating in secret. So if you want to know what's up with Alpha Flight these days, you can pick up the current volume. Next up, Avengers. Now, I said before, I will only collect the Avengers with the black characters that are in it. So, this particular run of Avengers has Black Panther in it. And someone else, I believe. I don't remember who. Oh, Blade. Never mind. Blade. So, this was the end of the previous volume. So, this is the Enter the Phoenix. So, of course, you know, Avengers mixed with X-Men. I love that. So I decided to pick up all of these comics in that storyline to kind of flesh out what I already have. So this is Avengers 40. Avengers 43. Part 4 of the Enter the Phoenix. And then I got Avengers 45, the King in Black tie-in. And Avengers 59, the preludes to... AXE Judgment Day. And I think the last one of this particular volume is 66. This is the Daniel Hainsworth Connecting Wraparound Cover. This is cover C variant. Because one thing I love about Midtown, they, they bust out with a variant for a decent price. And this is the current volume of Avengers. This is Avengers Volume 8, Number 5, Cover C. Aaron Cooter, the Avengers 60th anniversary cover. So that's that. All right. Next up, Black Panther, the previous volume, issue 13. This is a spoiler cover because, of course, they didn't show these when they had them in the pre-orders. So you had to buy it to figure out who was featured in the storyline. And this is, of course... Namor spinning the block on Wakanda yet again. All right. Next up, the current volume of Doctor Strange. Number five, the Hellfire Gala Valiant Variant Edition with, of course, our favorite Scarlet Witch on the cover. Love it. Love it. All right. Number six, Doctor Strange. God's cover variant. This is cover D. All right. Number seven. This is the regular Al Alex Ross cover, all right? And with the John Romita memorial on the front. That's Doctor Strange number seven. Okay, this one is Immortal X-Men number seven. Now, I don't normally rock with the Miracle Man covers because I don't like Miracle Man too much, but Storm is on the cover with him, so I was like, dang it, I got to get it for her. I got to get it for her. And that's cover... B. All right, this is Immortal X-Men 13, Hellfire Gala variant. Before everything went to hell. 
cover B, Immortal X-Men 13. And then, of course, Immortal X-Men 13, the Phil Noto Quiet Council covers. You know, they have the photos of each member of the Quiet Council. And, of course, this is Doug Ramsey, Cypher of the New Mutants. Next up, Miss Marvel, the New Mutant. This is number two. This is the cover. This is cover B. I'm a cover B girl. The Federico Vincentini Team Homage cover variant. So that's cover B. Next up, New Mutants Lethal Legion, number four. And number five. Next up, Scarlet Witch, cover A, Russell Dodderman, number six. Hanging out with her son and her son-in-law. Okay. Next up, Spider-Man. Oh, shoot. Maybe I should take that down. All right. Spider-Man 2099. Exodus. So this fills out my Exodus files here. Uh, number three. So this fills out my whole section. I think there was five of them. So that fills out the one I was missing. And last but not least, X-Men Red, number 13, cover C, Nacha Bustos cover, Stormbreaker. And X-Men Red, number 14, cover B, Javier Garon, Marcel, Marvel Icon cover. There we go. And of course, it features Sunspot. And for everybody who asks, Sunspot is black. All right, DC. Batman Incorporated number two. This is the D cover. John Timms designed stock cover. Okay, this is a $4.99 cover. I got that for $1.38. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, Batman Incorporated number three. B cover. Batman Incorporated number four, regular A cover, John Timms. Batman Incorporated six, John Timms cover, A. Batman Incorporated nine, cover A. Batman Incorporated number 10, cover A. I love how they put them in upside down. Batman Incorporated number 11, cover A. And Batman Incorporated number 11, cover B. Michelle Bandini cover. And then rounding out the DCs, Steelworks number 2. Steelworks number 2, cover A. Clayman cover. Since I always manage to overrun my 10 minutes, I'm going to stop it here. And then I'm going to bring my independence over to another video. So remember, buy the comics. Read the comics. Don't spend your rent money on the comics. Stay in your budget. Stay in your budget. <laughs> and wait for my next video. So you can see my indies. You know, I want to give them their shine. So, stay in your budgets. Great day.